Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm happy to be back again. It's uh, been a week. Um, okay, so first thing to talk about is I had a event planned for yesterday and I didn't go. I, I just, I got too much going on in my head and too much going on in the business and it just, yeah. <laughs> And, and on top of that, my friend had told me, you know, that she had not done well at that particular market. So that weighed a lot into my decision as well. Um, but yeah, so that event just didn't happen. And so the next one is this coming Saturday. And it's a paid for event. So definitely we'll be going to that one. And it's supposed to be pretty big. Um, it's the National Cowboy, National Day of the Cowboy, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But hey, let's roll with it. Okay, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and do a what I've done this week. And as usual, my week starts off very slow because the previous Saturday I did a market and whew, the heat really got me, got to me really bad. And so obviously I didn't get a whole lot done that day. So here's what I did get done. <laughs> a uh, unfinished polar bear with two ears and one foot. <laughs> there you go. That's an unfinished polar bear. And one, I adapted this pattern to make a dragon. Does it look like a dragon? Maybe. Maybe not. I was just playing around because I wasn't feeling well, and so, there you go. That's one, one little dragon. And so that was Sunday. Not a whole lot there done, um, just playing around, not really completing anything other than that little dragon. Okay, so we'll put that aside. And Monday, still not feeling my best, but I did get another turtle bum. Look at that. I, I am just in love with my turtles. I love it. And so I got one turtle done on Monday. And this was in preparation to get my turtle pattern out and published. And I was waiting on my testers. And so, yesterday we got it published. But, okay, so Tuesday, one of my testers did this brilliant little hack. And she put a little stripe in her... And I was like, oh, that's so cute. So, of course, I had to do it. And, yeah, so cute. So, another turtle. And this was, let's see, what day was that? Oh, it's Tuesday. I did another turtle. And I also got one. <laughs> Triceratops done. One. Just one. I got the makings of another one, and the makings of another one, almost. I don't have the body yet, but yeah. These are my work in progresses that still haven't been finished. So, I'm really on a kick of not finishing <laughs> this week. I didn't finish the polar bear. I didn't finish the dinosaurs. <laughs> Just really 
on a roll this week. Right? <laughs> okay, and another unfinished project that I maybe spent an hour doing and I was like bored with it. And it is the makings of a pineapple. And these stitches are I am I am not a fan of any kind of bubble or popcorn or any of those stitches. Once or twice, maybe occasionally, you know, but continuously all the way around. Yeah, I really got bored with that one really quick. And so that's another unfinished one. So now we're going to move on to Wednesday. Now Wednesday, my cousin says, how about some chickens? And I was like, hmm, you know, there is this really cute pattern floating around that is, uh, I think it's Mabel, Mabel chicken. And I showed it to her. I was like, well, what about this cute one? It seems to be pretty popular right now. And she's like, no, it's, it's, too, it's not enough. And so we collaborated and, you know, here we go. This is what I came up with. These are very similar to the kind of chickens that she has, which I am not a chicken person. So... I don't know the types of chickens, <laughs> so this is what we came up with, and it has you know, a little loop-de-loop -loop for a tail, and it has a head, and that's pretty much it. It's really cute, and I made another one. And, <laughs> and then I made another one. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, you know, on a chicken kick. But then I was like, this is so cute. I mean, really, I'm not that, I like eating chicken. <laughs> I don't have chickens. I, I've not been around a lot of chickens. So... Yeah, I made a basket of chickens. Look, a basket of chickens on Wednesday. And of course I wrote up the pattern real quick. I, it was it's such I mean, literally, it's such an easy pattern. Not hard at all. Only one little tiny spot might be a challenge, and that is right here in the neck. But I put plenty of pictures in there to show how to fix that. And so, yeah, a really super easy pattern. So that was Wednesday. And hold on, I gotta get rid of this. I'm back. <laughs> okay, and so. Thursday, I decided to switch up some colors, and I went with a brown and white, and I was like, oh my god, this is so adorable, I love it, love it, love it, and so, I made another one, <laughs> I made another one, and, um, and then another black and white one as well and so that way when I send her her two black and white ones I have two black and white ones for the market along with two brown and white ones as well and so yeah I was definitely on a chicken kick for a couple of days <laughs> and and then to round off 
I decided to do another, and this is on Friday. I decided to do brown. And, um, I don't know if you can see real good, but, um, <laughs> this is really, really cute. I, it's not one color. It's the, all of these are done with double strands. So like the black and white, double strands of just Chanel. And the brown and white was just Chanel and mushroom burnet velvet. And then this one is Mushroom Burnett Velvet and Just Chanel Brown. So yeah, these are my two newest favorites. And because it's kind of like a reddish brown, right? And there's a lot of those kind of chickens out there. And then of course, because my other pepper sold, I had to do another pepper. So yeah, it's there you go. I, I love this pattern and I hate this pattern. <laughs> the pattern is beautiful. It works out beautifully. But it's a lot of stopping, looking at the pattern, going, stopping, looking at the pattern. It, it, it's just, you can't just go. It's stop and go all the time. <laughs> So it works out beautifully, and the, the lady's a brilliant, I mean, to me it's just brilliant how she managed to get it curved like that, but yeah. more power to her. <laughs> okay, and then yesterday, not a whole lot going on yesterday either, yesterday was publishing the turtle pattern and publishing the chicken pattern. So I published two patterns yesterday, which is, you know, that's, that's a lot of work. And then not only do you have to publish the pattern and get it on all of your websites, all your sites, but then you have to advertise that pattern as well on all the sites. So, yeah, it, it's a, it's an ordeal. So that took up a big chunk of my yesterday. And so I managed to get one more chicken done and one more dino. One more dinosaur. That's it. I, I'm just, you know, slacking. And I'm slacking. I'm, just, I'm not a slacker, but I feel like I am a slacker most of the time. It's like, I know if I really push myself, I could get a lot more done. But for some reason, I am just not getting it done. I just, I don't know. You see that? <laughs> um... So yeah, I got a lot of chickens done, I got a couple more turtles done, I got a couple more dinosaurs done, and yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really not, do, I'm, I'm not killing it. <laughs> I'm not killing it like I should be. And, alright, so I guess we talked enough about that. Um, I've been wanting to do a question and answers video because I've been getting a couple of questions in my email. So um, if you want to email me or drop some questions in the comments below, please feel free. I'm going to gather all these questions up and we'll see what happens. And um, yeah, I think that'll be fun. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. So, uh, maybe you want to get to know me a little better. Drop me some questions. Um, I'm not really good about being forthcoming without somebody prompting me to 
say something. Anyway, so there you go. That's what I want to do next. So I will see y'all later. Thank you for hanging out with me. And see you next time. Bye-bye.